Yo, I'm Big Brian, and let's talk football. Yo, what's happening? How many people re remember when Tom Landry <clears throat> was getting death threats as the as the Dallas Cowboys football coach? You, some of you guys might be too young to remember this, but I remember it well. <laughs> Back in the 80s, because, you know, because Cowboys, <clears throat> like I say, Tom Landry is the one that got them. It was Tom Landry was the coach when the Cowboys began being called America's team. So way back, way back, probably before a lot of you guys were born, the Dallas Cowboys used to be a good team, right? It was a real good team. Matter of fact, they were so good, they was in the first two NFC championship games for the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. And the head coach name was Tom Landry. Tom Landry was the man. And um he was he was old school. Tom Landry uh was a was a jet pilot back in World War II. And he played and he and he played football for the New York Giants way back in the 50s. But anyway, getting back to let's get back on track. But anyway, like I say, the, Cow, the Dallas Cowboys was formed in 1960. Six years later, 1966, they was they was in they was in the NFC Championship game, trying to get to that first. That was the first Super Bowl, and they was playing the Green Bay Packers in Green Bay, and it was a close game, and they lost by I think three, maybe four points. Yeah, and then came right back in 1967. Next year, came right back. 1967, same team, Green Bay Packers. The Packers were good, too. And um, it was real cold that day. It was so cold. It was like 40 below zero. And they called that game the Ice Bowl. You can look it up. It was so cold. Man, it was so cold. Whew. I remember the one guy that played the trumpet pulled, his, pulled, his, pulled the skin off his lips because when, when, when it was so cold. Lips stuck to the trumpet. But anyway, and I can remember uh, uh, the wide receiver, um, Bullet Bob Hayes, the original number 22. He was running routes with his hands in his pockets. That's how cold it was. And once again, Cowboys lost again to the Packers. But hey, two, 66 and 67, Cowboys was in the NFC Championship game. Um... And then sixty nine, they was they was they was from they was every year they was every year they was knocking at the door. And in nineteen seventy, they finally they made it to the Super Bowl, nineteen seventy. Another close game, and they lost to the Baltimore Colts. Another close game, lost that that that, that game was just clumsy. It was fumbles all over the place. But anyway, and then nineteen seventy one, they came back again. And they won. They beat the Miami Dolphins. Yeah, 1971. They won their first Super Bowl. But before that, it was knocking at the door every year. And um, yeah, and and uh, Cowboys was a good team. Tom Landry was a great coach. And then they went to the Super Bowl. Uh, man, they was like from in the 60s and 70s, the Cowboys was the king of the NFC East. They played in two more Super Bowls. They lost to the Steelers. But they was there. And then they beat the they beat the Denver Broncos. But but during all that time, the Cowboys have went to 20 consecutive um playoff games a record. And and that's how they became and during that time they they became America's team. Yeah, cause they, cause cause um they were so famous and everywhere they went, um, uh, you know, and they was always on Monday Night Football. They had a great quarterback. His name was Roger Starback, and they called him C Captain Comeback. And many nights I fall asleep 
because I was, you know, I was young. I fall asleep watching the game, and they and the Cowboys be down by two two touchdowns, and I wake up. I go, who won the game? They go Dallas. I said, you gotta be kidding me, but yeah, that's why they called him Captain Comeback. He came. He brought that. He brought Dallas back so many times. But anyway, so during that time, the Cowboys was ne was was known became known as America's team because the guy who, the guy who made NFL films noticed everywhere he went. He would see he would see cowboy fans everywhere he went. Even and I think he was at the 49ers game and it was more cowboy fans there than the 49ers. So they became known as America's team. But anyway, so I'm just trying to show you how passionate the cowboy fans were, right? And still are to this day. Cowboy fans are passionate. Cause they was good. They'd been to five Super Bowls with Tom Landry. And um it would have been six if it wasn't for the, if it wasn't for the San Francisco 49ers. The the four because the Cowboys was favored to win that play that, that NFC championship game. <clears throat> and um that's where the catch the catch came from. Last play of the game, Joe Montana fading back, fading back, threw that ball up in the air, and uh Dwight Clark caught in the end zone. Last play of the game. And that's when they went to that's when the, that's when the 49ers Finally beat the Cowboys and went to the Super Bowl. But anyway, I think that was 81. But anyway, after that, after that season, Tom Landry still had a, had a pretty good team. But he started he started doing some dumb, dumb, dumb play calling, right? And Same thing with Jerry Jones is going through. He started doing some dumb play calling. And man, the fans was pissed. You got to remember, this is back in the 80s. And I'm going to tell you, the Cowboy fans are probably the most, most um, passionate. Boy, the fans started booing them. And um, he was going through. That's, the, 80s, the 80s was bad for Tom Landry. But the fans started booing Tom Landry everywhere he went. People weren't showing up. Just like, that's what I'm saying now. Boycott Jerry Jones. Anyway, the fans started booing him, weren't showing up. I can I can remember one play like it was yesterday. This is this is the play that really had pissed everybody off. But well, one night, um, I rem I remember watching this game. The Cowboys was losing. Uh, by like I don't know three, four touchdowns, and this was in the eighties now, because in the eighties the Cowboys kind of took a slump. The Forty uh, Nineers beat them in in eighty one, and one and, and they be, and then they they started their run. But anyway, but this one particular game, Dallas was losing by three or four touchdowns, right, and. They called the play. They called. It was it was like it was like third and twenty one, right? And Tom Landry called a draw play. You know what a draw play is? Mind you now, it's like third and twenty one. And Tom Landry called a running play. A draw play. Like like the worst running play you can call. Anyway, the draw play is when. So the draw. Draw play is a play to where you look like you're gonna pass, right? So you got you set up like you're gonna pass. You got your wide receiver and it's and it's in a shotgun. And um Tom Landry invented this one. But it's in a shotgun and you and you got your one you got your one running back back there, but you set it like you're gonna pass, right? So when you hide the ball, you're in a shotgun. You let you let the offense come through. That's what you want. Cause they think you're passing. So they so they come in there hard. And at the last second, you hand the ball off to the running back. And then he takes off running. That's a draw play. Well, that's a play Tom Landry did. And third 21, <laughs> mind you. And Emmitt Smith, I, nah, I'm sorry, and, to, and um, Tony Dorsett, I think, got like eight yards. Because the linebackers got him. Oh, man, people went crazy. Boring, throwing stuff. Like, what the hell is wrong with Tom Landry? Third and 21, you doing a draw play? <laughs> 
offensive line come through, and then you hand the ball off to the running back, and and if it, and a lot of times it works, but third and twenty one, nah. And he did a draw play on third and twenty one. I think I think I don't I don't even remember what the quarter running back was. It might have been Tony Dorsett, but anyway, he got like eight nine yards. And I'm gonna tell you that was that was a play right there. The set the, the set the Cowboy fans like like right now like what the hell is Tom Landry doing? Dallas Cowboys head coach. They were playing the. Sorry about that, but yeah, but anyway. That play right there just sent everybody like Tom Landry got to go. And Tom Landry had been here at this point. He had been the only coach. Five Super Bowls he'd been to. But that play right there, that did it. Like, he got to go. <laughs> Hang on for a second. The Dallas Cowboys head coach, they were playing the Los Angeles Rams in Los Angeles. And it was a bizarre incident, to say the least. Here is the sequence of events. This was the scene at the end of the third quarter in Anaheim. Tom Landry being escorted from the field, obviously under heavy security. A short while later, he returned to the field and the security was still there. We were told later he was wearing a protective vest under his sweater. There had been phone calls made to Anaheim Stadium and to the Anaheim Police Department saying that there was an individual in the stadium. He was armed and Tom's life was indeed in danger. After the game... I had an opportunity to talk with my former teammate and coach, Tom Landry. Tom, your first word that there was a problem came from your own security man. What was said to you? Well, he just told me that, that they had been had been informed that there was uh, somebody up with a rifle, you know, in, in the stands, and uh, they hadn't located him, and uh, his, his target was me, <laughs> which didn't make me feel too good. And uh, they felt that I should leave at, at the end of the third quarter and go in and make a decision whether to stay in or put on a vest and come back out. So I decided to put a vest on and come back out again. The call, as you were told, came from somebody's brother reporting the fact that his brother was in the stadium with a rifle? Yeah, that's what, uh, that's what I understand. That's what the security people said. I'm not really sure of the details of it, uh, but they were concerned enough to, to, to make me leave the field, though. And they give you an option, uh, and you chose to go back out. Well, they gave me an option. Uh, you know, I've, uh, we were threatened in, in uh, San Francisco once, too, before, as uh, in a plane thing. And and I don't know. I didn't feel uh, that it was something that was real. I'm sure the president didn't feel it, or, or Bobby Kennedy, or any of them, that, that this happens to. But it's just weird that it, that it would come down to a football coach, of all things, that anybody would be concerned enough to, to threaten somebody like that. As an update to the Tom Landry story, this past week I spoke to the Anaheim Police Department in Anaheim, California. They have no suspects. They did record the voice when they phoned into the Anaheim Police Station, and the investigation is ongoing. As far as my own personal feelings, it is hard for me to conceive of an individual, a sicko, a weirdo, who can cause so much pain and anguish, and particularly around a sporting event. So, yeah, that actually happened. Like I say, Cowboy fans... When you are used to winning, and you, and and anybody born after the nineties probably don't understand this. You know, if you if you like in your twenties and you were, and you you a Cowboys fan, you used to losing because the cow because you you're not old enough. You're not old enough to remember when they was winning, <laughs> right? So anyway. Yeah. The people that remember them when they was winning. This is why a lot of Cowboy fans are pissed off. Because we, you know, and, and, and yeah, it's going on 30 years, but I'm old enough to remember when they was winning. You know, 70s, 90s, all from the 70s all the way to the 90s. Cause in the eighties, the eighties they were still good, but but uh, the eighties was a decade of the Forty ers But they had to beat they had to beat Dallas be, to to be the Kings. They had to beat Dallas. So anyway, guys, I'm just want I just trying to refresh your memory right uh, when uh, Tom Landry, foot, Dallas Cowboy coach, got death threats because they was losing. That's why he got them death threats because they was losing and fans was pissed off. 
Peace.